Hey, very excited about this video today. We are going deep. We are covering the strategies, the systems, and the methods of the devil and how to overcome him and not <laughs> fall for his tricks. So like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into the show. All right, I'm very excited. We are going into uh, spiritual warfare. So we see this in Ephesians 6, that we know that we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but powers, rulers, and darkness, <laughs> darknesses, um, high places, spiritual weaknesses, wickednesses, and um, principalities, all right? So if you know this is a warfare, one way to combat in a warfare is to know the methods of your enemy, but also how to use your own equipment, the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the belt of truth and the preparation and gospel of peace shot upon our feet. So I just want to cover um, what means and what vehicles the devil is using to have um, Christians to fail so that they can see them and succeed. All right. So we're going to start off with Luke 4 and how um, the devil tempted Jesus um, there. All right. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. Look at the temptations. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward a hunger. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. All right. He used scripture to try to manipulate, but Jesus responded with scripture. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, all this power I will give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Okay. So where we're going to jump into, so you see the met, um, the temptations of the devil. I'm actually going to give a name for it after I read the scripture from John um, 10, 10, very easy. Uh, we'll start with nine because we want to start with um, Jesus. Um, Jesus says, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. All right. So those are the methods of the devil. He comes to kill, he comes to steal, and he comes to destroy. But what vehicles is he using to do these things, all right? And so, whoops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> um, these are his vehicles or how it manifests or how what it looks like to kill and steal and destroy. Because yeah, those are the easy ones, but what does it look like in our everyday life, right? And this comes from John, 1 John 2. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And the world passes away, the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. All right? 
Uh, wait, let me keep going. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, the Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists whereby we know what that is the last times. Okay? So that is, um, man, we have to keep going. <laughs> they went out from us, but they knew, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar, but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. He is the Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whoever so ever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledges the Son hath the Father also. Okay, so I think that's solid, all right? So remember, the devil has come to lie, kill, and um, kill, steal, and destroy, right? But the methods that he is going through when he does this, he is using the pride of life, the lust of the eye, and the lust of the flesh, right? So the methods or the vehicles in which he uses to kill, steal, and destroy are the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Those are three, right? And how did the devil um, tempt the, the Lord in Luke 4? He said that um, he would turn um, this stone into bread, right? Because he had hungered, right? So. Um, that's the lust of the flesh, right? That's your appetite. That's your hunger. Um, um, lust um, takes many different forms, right? Lust of money is greed, which is a sin, right? Um, lust within itself is a uh, <laughs> where um, lust of self is idolatry or any other thing that's not God, right? Lust of well, should I say sex outside of marriage is fornication. Um, Less of self too is pride. Um, so all these different forms of the lust of the flesh, the appetite, the belly, is the conduit or the vehicle in which the um, devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Because what would he steal in purity and righteousness by having lust for sex, right? So he just um, is trying to steal and stole the reverence for it. People have sex very casually nowadays. Why? Because he has stole um, the meaning behind it. Just like when they try to say marriage is a piece of paper. It's not just a piece of paper. Um, he's trying to um, destroy covenant because um, covenant is where all the promises are. That's where all the, it says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and finds favor with the Lord, all right? So if you never get married and you're just shacking up, what did you just do? You have just destroyed and stole your blessing that comes with finding a wife. And then he just killed um, lineage and inheritance when it comes to your bloodline from having kids, okay? So that's the first one when it comes to the bread. Um, but then the devil said to him, all this power I'll give unto you and glory in them that is delivered unto me and whosoever I will give it to. All right, so that is the first. We move from the lust of the flesh, well, you have power to then keep on into a pinnacle and he said unto the temple, cast yourself down from hence and have charge over you. Oh, that's a pride of life, there we go. So the next, um, I'm the second, um, vehicle is the lust of the eye. So the devil told Jesus, like, hey, I'll give all this power and all this authority to you uh, if um, you just worship me, right? And so, the devil has come to kill, steal, and destroy. And so, uh, when it comes to the lust of the eye, um, when you lust of the eye, that's greed, right? All this money, all this vanity, all this pride. All, all this idolatry and self-worship because in the last days, people will be lovers of self versus lovers of God. We're going to go into 2 Timothy 3, okay? And so you need to take inventory where you have unnatural affections for things that will not be in the kingdom of God, will not be in heaven, but you like it here on earth. So are you sacrificing your holiness for a job? He says, um, not to be legalistic, but this is still a 10 commandments. Um, keep the Sabbath, uh, for the Sabbath was not, um, Man was not made for the Sabbath, but the Sabbath was made for man. So 
are you having the pride the lust of the eye when it comes to money being like hey i'm going to work and I, I never rest in the lord and hebrews 4 talks about the importance of belief um, that those who enter in the rest of the lord so that's the eternal rest but also the natural rest in the sabbath here okay all right so that is the um, lust of the eye um, things that catch your eye the Bible says um the light of the body is the eye um if your eye be dark how great is that darkness even our relationship with social media entertainment movies television and um music right if you have a gate that is open um are you being discipled by demons are you being discipled by devils who are curating who are making this um material right and also um what are you going for what are you building what type of empires are you building outside of the kingdom of god that will not last well we see from vine TikTok, all of these little social media platforms can get destroyed we see from even covid um, you can get fired from a job or get furloughed or your job just goes bankrupt what are we building that will not hold weight in the kingdom of God? All right. So that is the lust of the flesh and the pride uh, and the lust of the eye. All right. And then the last one that we have in Luke 4, uh, Luke 4 and 1 John is the pride of life. Okay. So um, Jesus um, said, I mean, the devil said unto Jesus, but he brought him unto Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. And Jesus answered and said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord your God. All right. So, um, what you have, um, I'm going to pair this, um, with the verse in revelations talking about, we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We did not love our life unto death. All right. And so what the Bible says is that those who shall lose their life shall find it. And those who will keep their life shall lose it all right and so this is why it says to pick up your cross carry it daily and die to yourself daily all right so um how this pairs um uh, with the story is um and also the verse the pride of life do you love your life unto death or are you obedient um to the lord so what we see is that the the devil knew that um jesus would have his death burial and resurrection but what he tried to do is kill him before the appointed time so prophecy would not be fulfilled okay and so um jesus uh not being tricked um just like us we cannot be tricked if we know the strategies on um, that um he is doing and also um what the lord is doing doing so that we can combat against it um, for our weapons of warfare are not carnal but spiritual so we have to pray fast read our bible because you see every response was an opinion it wasn't apologetics it wasn't um logic it was the word of god that was written because um Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So that is 1 John 2, when it talks about the spirit of the Antichrist already being in the world. And they left us because they were never among us in um, the first place. Because um, that's actually a good test. You want to test if someone is demon-possessed? <laughs> demon Start your prayer, Bible study, or relationship praying and saying jesus is lord okay um it will get somebody to manifest um demonically um what other bible verses do we have um we actually have galatians that i just want to point out um when it calls um talks about the fruit of the spirit versus the works of the flesh which is very interesting the fruit right something that grows after time versus the works the labor of the flesh right um, do 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 Galatians five, <laughs> and um, let's talk about the law, right? 
Um, actually, yeah, we might want to start a little higher. So we're going to start with verse um, 13. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. <laughs> Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one another. This I say unto them, then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Lust of the flesh, tactics of the devil. Um, for the lust of the flesh against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Just like Paul said, things I want to do, I don't do. The things I would do, I don't. And, um, but if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not of the law. For the works of the flesh are manifest, are these. Idolatry, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such things of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in past time, that they which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Do you do these things? Are you being used by the devil? So this is also true in Second Timothy 3. Second Timothy 3, verse 14. This also, this know also that in the last days, <laughs> Perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, divisors of those that are good, despisers of those that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away these people will not inherit the kingdom of god so know this um is the devil using you um do you gossip um are you on the shade room do you listen to um fornicators in music like drake and beyonce who lead you to lust all right um so those are the tactics of the devil but um no you can see if the fruit of the spirit is on the inside of you through Galatians um, as well, right? Um, Galatians 5, it continues, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, such things there is no law. But this is the proof and evidence that Christ rules in you, all right? So we're actually going to end about how to combat and be empowered by the Holy Spirit. This is Ephesians 3, 13 through 21. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause, I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with the might by his spirit in the inner man. He will strengthen your inner man, which is the Holy Spirit, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. He will strengthen your faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love, love will be the substance of your strength, may be able to comprehend with all um, the saints what it is the breadth, the length, the depth, the height, and to know the love of Christ, for love cast out all fear, which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly all that you ask or think according to the power that works in us, unto him be glory in the church of Christ Jesus through all the ages world without end amen so god will empower you with his riches his glory his love and faith that you will have the fullness of god on inside of you be able to combat the devil and overcome him um just like ephesians 3 says so this is our weapons of warfare that we being clay vessels have the riches of glory available because he divides every man by 
his measure of faith. God is infinite. So that's why he will do exceedingly abundantly anything that we can pray or ask for. Because the Holy Spirit gives us utterance even when we don't know what to pray for. So he tells us what to pray for because this is the level of faith that he can yield in us. So thank you for watching. Those are the methods um, of spiritual warfare and that's how you engage. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. New videos on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. on theblessingreport.com. Thanks for watching. I love y'all.